welcome back to another episode of the Bass Reporter. Today we have the Godin Performance Series Shifter Bass. This happens to be a five string. Godin, as you may or may not know, is a Canadian manufacturer of instruments uh, ranging from all types of guitars, even an oud, and some basses. This is their solid body bass. Um, they also make some semi-hollow basses, and even some of the semi-hollows come with a MIDI function, a MIDI out, which is quite cool. I've always admired Godin because being a Canadian company, uh, they have great access to wood, and they've decided to manufacture everything themselves. In fact, when they need a special part, uh, if it's not available on the market, even the metal work and pickups, they actually manufacture them themselves. They're not afraid to, to invest in products uh, that make their instruments better. The shifter bass is a solid body instrument uh, with a Canadian basswood body, a Canadian rock maple neck, and a rosewood fingerboard. It also features three single coil Alnico pickups, uh, a five-way plus one selector switch, and uh, a bolt-on, a, a four bolt-on neck design. Uh, all in all, it's a, a little heavier than a normal uh, bass, but not by very much. There's a slightly top-heavy, but uh, a very subtle difference. And uh, of course, what makes it unique is the three pickup design. This particular instrument is clearly a J-style bass, but the fact that it has three single coils and the ability to select between them gives you a whole new range of sound. The Golden Shifter is definitely after a traditional player in terms of style, but it actually gets fairly modern. Uh, with this range of pickup settings and a very powerful passive tone control, you actually get uh, kind of a modern sound in some of the settings. And uh, of course, it excels at its traditional booty kind of playing, but uh, there's quite a bit of zing in this, in this instrument. Other interesting features are the two-way bridge for stringing. In other words, you can string through the back of the bridge or string through the body of the bass itself, uh, and then getting a different range of sounds that way. The back of the instrument has a cavity so you can get into the wiring, as well as the unique four bolt neck plus two extra bolts to hold it on even more securely. A nice design touch. As far as sound goes, I played the Godin on a variety of gigs, as well as studio and practice sessions. I could say that it gives me uh, quite a wide range of sounds. It's definitely throaty um, and thick sounding most of the time with a bit of high end zing. It's an interesting combination. Uh, it, it, because of the different settings, you can get kind of a P bass sound, not, most, not the strongest P bass sound I've heard. Uh, definitely some nice jazz tones, uh, even some kind of music man as you can run just the back pickup by itself. So in that regard, it's extremely flexible and, and gives you a good range of different instruments without having to carry quite a lot of instruments. Its overall tone tends to be uh, a little strong in the high end, um, thick in the lower mids, uh, a nice low B, um, sometimes stronger, sometimes not as strong as the other strings. Position one, neck and middle pickup. Just the middle pickup. 
all in all, uh, for around $900 in a four-string configuration and around $1,100 in a five-string configuration, you get an all-Canadian, or can we say North American-made instrument uh, with very good wood quality and very strong construction, which would last a long time. So I consider it an excellent value. If these kinds of tones are what you're looking for, I think the Golden is something you should definitely check out. Uh, this is Marty at The Bass Reporter. Thanks so much for tuning in.